Now suppose we flipped a coin and rolled a die, uh, and we wanted to know the probability of getting a head on the coin or, or a 6 on the die. Now this is different than the problems we did earlier where we were looking at the, for the probability of both, of the end. So, of course, the easiest way to do this for a simple problem like this is to say, well, how many of these outcomes, these 12 outcomes, how many of them have a head on the coin or a 6 on the die? And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 outcomes that have either a head on the coin or a 6 on the die. Now, could we have figured that out another way by sort of looking at the two, uh, events separately? So what's the probability of getting a head on the, um, getting a head on the coin? So the probability of a head is 1 half or in twelfths, right, that'd be 6 out of 12. 6 of the outcomes, uh, have, uh, a head. What's the probability of, uh, rolling a 6 on the die? Well, there's two, uh, well, that's 1 out of 6, right? 1 roll out of the 6 possibilities on the die. And in terms of our total outcomes here, 2 of them have a 6 on the die. And notice if we add, just added these 2 up, uh, we'd get too many outcomes. We'd get 8 out of 12. Why? Because we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for the heads, and we're counting 1, 2 for the 6's, but we've counted this value twice. So in order to compensate for that, we're gonna have to subtract out that value that we double counted. So we're gonna subtract out the probability of a heads and a 6, and there's 1 out of 12 there, and if we combine that, 6 plus 2 is 8, minus 1 is 7 twelfths, and we get the same answer that we had there. So our basic rule here is, that the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of both. And we, again, we gotta subtract out that end so that we're not double counting it. Let's see if we can use this. Now, suppose we draw one card from a standard deck. What's the probability that we get a queen or a king? Well, the probability of a queen is, let's see here, there's 4 of them out of the 52 cards in the deck. Uh, what's the probability of a king? 4 out of 52. Uh, what's the probability that the card is both a queen and a king? Well, n none. It's impossible for a card to be both a king and a queen. Uh, it's one or the other. And so the probability of queen or king here is just 4 out of 52 plus 4 out of 52 minus 0 is 8 out of 52, uh, is our, is our probability there. Now, uh, the reason that we ended up with this 0 here is because these two events, the probability of getting a queen and the probability of getting a king are mutually exclusive. There's no overlaps. And so in this simple case, uh, in this case of mutually exclusive, it turns out that the probability of, the probability of getting a queen or king is just the probabilities of the queen plus the probability of the king, again, because they're mutually exclusive and there's no overlap. Now, that's not always the case, of course. So in our second problem here, what's the probability that we get a red card or a king? The probability of a red card is, oh, let's see here, there are, oh, half the deck is red, so that would be 26 out of the 52. What's the probability of a king? That's 4 out of 52. What's the probability that's red and a king? Now here we do have overlap because there are two red kings. And so for the probability of red or a king, we're gonna have to add up the, two individual probabilities and then subtract away the overlap, which leaves us with a probability of 28 out of 52 for the probability of getting a red card or a king.